In this video, we'll understand how to create Oracle users. Oracle users can be created through a database. It can be created through an operating system. And the third method of creating an Oracle user is using global authentication. Let me show you the normal method where how you would create an Oracle user is using an Oracle database. The database password is stored in the database itself. Now, to connect to the uh, user, connect in as system slash manager SSS DBA. Then you give a command like create user. Paul or CPI sol identified by CPI123. Now you see an uh, user CPI sol is created and CPI123 is the password for that particular user. Now if I try to log in to this user I get this error CPI sol lex session privilege because what has happened is even though this user is created it doesn't have the privilege through which I can connect into it so for that there are uh, certain privileges which need to be given to this user CPI sol now all the privileges could be stored together in a rule so what I do is there is a default rule called as resource which I would give it to CPI sol and then I can use that particular user so I'll show you the example of that for doing that you need to connect as a DBA user grant and resource connect to CPI sol. So now what has happened is I have given a CPI sol some rights. Now I can use this particular user CPI sol. Now to see this particular user's information I query the table desk dba underscore users which contains information about this user like select username comma expiry date if you need to find the expiry date etc from dba underscore users when I query this table I can see the user which I created now that is called CPI soul so the DBA underscore user contains information like the date when it was created and every other information whether it's an external user or not next thing what we can do is now you know you understood how a user is created using an Oracle database since I give the privileges to this particular user I can now use that particular user I'll show you an example of that now Now you see this particular user is created. CPI sol and it has the password as CPI123. Now there are other ways through which I can further create users uh, that is using external using operating system. For that I give a command for that beforehand I will see the dictionary table for the value for OS underscore authentication minus prefix. Or 
than B. You see here the prefix for OS authentication is OPS dollar. So whenever you create a user, you need to use that particular name to create an ex external user. Now when I mean by external user is there would be no password in that scenario stayed stored in the Oracle database, but it is the work of the operating system to manage the username. So the operating system username would be uh, taken into account and uh, then you will be able to access the data. Now there is something called as globally authenticated user. This is the third uh, important um, uh, way through which you can create a user. Now using when you use uh, globally authentication it uses advanced security options for authentication purposes. They could either include biometrics, X509, Kerbos and Radius. Now assigning default table space. Now default table space is equal to now I'll show you okay so you now you understood the three ways through which you can create a user. Again let's see the globally authenticated users. You give the command like create user CTI, identify globally as CN is equal to CT underscore master and um, the authentication protocol. But now what happens is in this scenario when the user is created, it's not created in the Oracle database, but it's create managed from outside. It's ha the role of the um, directory service to create the user, manage the passwords and everything. And mostly this sort of methods are used where there are thousands of users uh, uh, and these users want to access data from one DB to the other DB and the default password, default user account would still be the same. Next I'll show you how to set the default table space and handling temporary table space. Say for example now we created the user CTI soul, let's see the default table space, different table space in our database. alter user CTI sol default table space I can set it to users so what would happen is this particular user CTI sol so default table space would be users now if I need to set its temporary table space as temp it is set as temp 